to Needles in the Haze 2018 Holiday Gift Guide. Woo! <laughs> so we're starting um, with a video that we're going to have in the podcast, which is going to be about what knitters should knit for, for, those, for those who are knit worthy. And mm -hmm. then we're also going to have a blog article for all of you fiber artists to share with the loved ones in your life to let them know what they should get you this holiday season. Also known as give them a bone. They need it. <laughs> so we're going to start with the big squish. The big squish. <laughs> so for all of you out there today panicking that you can't get a knit gift knit by Christmas, I'm here to tell you that you're wrong. So very deeply wrong. Because <laughs> you can knit a scarf in a day. <laughs> This is amazing. It so, is amazing. So this is a Mia scarf in Yen XL. Um, it's Peruvian Highland wool of the highest quality. So it's like a 21.5 micron count, which means it's just as soft as yeah. Merino, but it's in this giant... Floofy, <clears throat> double twisted. So it's two lightly felted strands that are then twisted around each other. So it's actually quite light, which is surprising, mm -hmm. but it has this dense, delicious texture to it. And I have to say, I think the Highland wool gives it a little bit more structure than a merino would. So it's actually got a little bit of crunch to it while still being soft. Yeah, the stitches stand right up and yeah. it gives you that like real puffy look that's very in right now. And once this is done, it's gonna have these giant, giant pom -poms. gorgeous pom-poms on so the sweet. end. Uh, so we think this would be a fantastic idea when you're um, rushing to get something done. Exactly. And it continues my trend of like totally reasonably sized now. <laughs> yes, a very reasonably <laughs> sized <laughs> scarf. <laughs> and of course it comes in all of these beautiful brights as well as neutral colors. Some gorgeous grays and navies, nothing to beat here. So we already love Lopi clearly because I'm wearing a sweater made out of it and usually on this podcast Deanna's wearing a great brown round yoked cardigan made out of Lopi. <laughs> so we're here to tell you it's great but luckily they have a new one out, bulky Lopi, that was available to us now. Mm -hmm, yeah. I love it. So like you guys have been asking for the um, eye band and the bulky Lopi for as, as long as I've had the store. Um, so now our distributor has it and we have it and there's a beautiful sweater um, that we'd like to share with you so that you could knit to try out this yarn, uh, be super quick knit, mm -hmm. um, it's knit up on what, like a nine millimeter needle? I think it's needle. a nine millimeter needle. It'd be like a two day knit. What's the name of it again? I cannot pronounce it. I can't either. So we're going to just put it up on the screen for you. Because <laughs> we don't want to offend the good people of Iceland. We but, like them. So this is just, it's the Lopi you know and love. Just like let Lopi and Elephant's Lopi, just a bit heavier. Big, big balls. And it comes in all natural colors. We love it. And these are the two shades for the sweater, white and the black heather. So on November 15th, uh, Brooklyn Tweed released their holiday collection for 2018. Yes. I happen to be wearing the Link hat, what? which is- yeah. How did that happen? <laughs> Deanna, you just, so fast. Just magically, oh yes. I just had to cast it on and get it done right away. And this is in their new color, Yellowstone, oh. um, which looks amazing knit up. It looks great in the Agreed. skein, but it looks even better in the project. And I believe you are going to knit a little beanie. I'm going to be knitting a beanie up in pumice, the delightful neutral of all of our dreams, as Deanna likes to call it, snowbound on steroids, <laughs> which we all agree with. And don't forget, there's one more great new color, Iceberg, that would also make a fantastic example. And I am going to do the beanie version, because as much as I love double-brimmed watch caps, it shows off how tiny my head is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's narrow. <laughs> the reality. I'm okay with it, sort of. I'm not. It's okay. We all have our preferred yeah. hat choice. Thank goodness for beanies. But it also makes a great quick knit and another excellent addition to that difficult, possibly picky person on your list because there's two hat options. It means if you want to pump out hats for the whole family, this might be your best choice. Switching between beanies and brimmed hats will save your life. And there's also instructions if you want to add a little pom-pom on top too. Make it giant. So let's all just imagine that Ethan is wearing a very beautiful buffalo plaid beanie. It's really comfortable. <laughs> and the truth here is that I have knit said beanie, Woo! but I forgot to bring it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so now we just have to pretend, but we'll, we'll put the picture, we'll superimpose yeah. the picture. Um, so it's the buffalo plaid hat, right? Uh, it's called the Yukon Campfire Yukon hat. Campfire hat. Um, and we decided to knit it up in our new yarn that we have here in the store, Wolstock. 
I love Wolf's Dog. I actually can't say enough about it. I think I'm starting to make people angry. It's okay though, <laughs> they like it. Like this is an amazing value for yeah. money. The 50 gram skeins are only $10.99. Super soft and lofty. It has incredible loft and it's crunchy without being um, rough, which is a really interesting thing. It has that crisp texture to it, but the two ply construction keeps a nice and soft feeling against your hand as you're knitting. So perfect for a really quick um, color work cap that takes maybe two nights of knitting. Especially if you can't find that perfect gift for dad. He will wear this, we promise. Mm -hmm. We're here flogging this cow harder than a cart horse in the 1850s to tell you all about organic cotton again. Yeah, so we have this Blue Sky Fibers organic cotton. It's absolutely lovely. This cowl is knit with two strands of the organic cotton and then you go through these various accent colors. Just it's, by changing one strand at a time. Yeah, and it's great because we have an awesome color palette. You can play around with color as much as you want. And the great thing about this as a gift idea is that you only need to buy three more colors, uh, three more skeins, sorry, of the main color. And you've got two whole cowls. What? And this sucker can be knit up in like six hours. Yeah. Plus, it's great for that picky person on your list because the organic cotton doesn't itch at all and it's so soft and cozy. Head knit socks. <laughs> so mitts are an awesome gift. Um, for that person on your list. Um, who doesn't need a beautiful pair of mitts? And Literally we... everyone, because I lost mine on the subway. <laughs> and this particular pattern is called um, Selbu Mitt. It's actually a style of mitt, Norwegian yes. style of uh, knitting mitts. We love that. And um, this Bye. one, the Skein Deer Knits, yeah. And it's- Killer um, mitten patterns. It's great because it's in a DK way. Instead yeah. of a fingering, so it's great. And it's awesome. a probably twice as fast as your fingering weight mitt and I have made this one sorry it's still missing its little thumb I have to put that what on happened? afterwards I know I did the little gusset and I haven't come back to do it yet I but love it. it's in the lore um, which is a new DK weight from the fiber company and uh, I've done this one in the logical and the bold um, colorways which bold is, is like fantastic has a yeah. little tiny bit of blue to it but it's a deep black so it doesn't show up as Partially on this cream, I love it. Yeah, it's almost as if like a raven was a yarn. Oh, yeah, it's, got it's that perfect. Beautiful hue to it. So the only problem with these mittens is that if you have giant monster hands like myself, they're not gonna go in here. But good news, <laughs> Skein Deer has thought of this and thoughtfully made it in an Aran weight as well. So I'm gonna whip up a pair of these for myself because as we all know, I'm the world's most selfish knitter. Um, nice and quick in the, ooh, West Yorkshire <laughs> Fleece 100% Jacob yarn. It's an Aran weight yarn. It's gonna knit up super, super fast and have the same patterning plus a ribbed cuff. So it'll stretch really easily over those of us who have those giant, giant palms. And this is an amazing price point. So incredible. Just $9.99, 100% Jacob's Fleece from West Yorkshire Spinner. Um, this guy is a little bit more expensive, but still like a great value. You can get multiple pairs out of that. Exactly. So I, my balls, um, I've done one minute, they barely look like they've been touched. I bet you can get two pairs, maybe even three pairs out of them. Totally. That. So for the people that you love most, you should be knitting them with June cashmere. Knitting them. Knit people <laughs> with June cashmere. Four people. I love June cashmere. <laughs> it's incredibly soft and amazing, and it's an amazing social enterprise that reaches out to the farmers in Kyrgyzstan themselves, which we cannot be more grateful for. So what you're gonna knit is the, <gasps> the journey, journey mitts. They're these cute little mitts. They're fingerless, they're great. They'll take no time at all. One skein of DK weight yarn. They're awesome. I'm gonna do them for my sister for Christmas in this June Sky colorway, because I think it's spectacular. And she is very similar coloring to Deanna, so we can see how wonderful that's gonna look <laughs> right away. And if you uh, like these little cowls that we're wearing too, these are other options. Um, Ethan's wearing the Sherdat cowl, which is um, in the Aegean and natural colorways. And then I'm wearing the cable cowl, um, which is just two skeins in the scarlet colorway. That but scarlet looks spectacular. But those uh, journey mitts only take one skein for the whole pair. Just one skein of DK way. We 
had a ton of gift ideas and we don't really have time to show them all, but here's a few honorable mentions that we thought you'd need to see. It turns out that we're cuckoo for coconuts here at Needles in the Head, and we love absolutely everything that they've sent us so far. So, like, very proud to carry this awesome yes. brand of tools for knitters. Um, they do a great job of innovating, you know, simple knitting tools. So one of my favorite um, things that we've started carrying is this Maker's Keep yes. uh, bracelet. It is a, for those uh, children of the 90s, it's like a slap bracelet, wow, which wow. is amazing. And it's got this magnetic um, pad here. And then on the back side, it's even got like a gauge ruler to help you check your gauge. Um, so if I put this puppy on, just kind of slaps around my wrist and then you can magnetize um, various tools to it. Like their super helpful double-ended crochet hook for repairs. Look at that! So that's, uh, you can just keep that close at hand. My favorite um, is I've just got this little pin box from NNK Press. But you know when you're blocking something and you're always reaching over for your pins? It's really, Every day. Really it's annoying. My life. Check this out. Bam! Calm down, Magneto, we get it. <laughs> All your pins, close at hand. Boom. Now I have to get these off. <laughs> can you like a blessing for lace blocking? Because think about how many times you're moving along the edge of a piece of lace and it stretches out just slightly too much at one point so you need another needle and then you go to reach across for where your tub of needles are and you half fall onto the project, smushing it out of place, knocking half your needles onto the floor. Mm -hmm. It's the worst. So this is amazing for that. And you've, got, a, you've got another gizmo that goes right on it, right? Oh yeah, the knitting row counter is also awesome. So this little guy's magnetized on the back. When you pop it out, it clips right onto here. So as as you're whipping along your knitting, you can be clicking along your rows and stitches, which as we all know is a key to getting great knitting done efficiently. And this guy's even got like a little uh, magnetized, uh, not magnetized, magnified. Magnified. Too, too many M words. Magnified window, so it's really easy to see the numbers. Like on the little watch face, so they pop right up. Mm -hmm. I have to say, I have always been a fan of these Corridori style snips in general. But my big complaint about them over the years has always been that there's no way to keep them shut closed. And then you're reaching into your yarn bag and you slice your finger open. <laughs> and when you're working with cream colored yarn, that helps no one. <laughs> so what's awesome is Coco Knits has finally thought around this and gotten a little vegetable tan leather sleeve. So those of you who are familiar with our little fringe stitch markers, same kind of leather. And it just holds these sharp, sharp little hand forged snips inside of it. And I think they're great. And the black steel is just kind of It's a very like rustic little and sexy. Touch. Yeah. yeah, I like it. Yeah. And uh, we also have these other larger sized kits here. So I've got the sweater care kit in front of me and it has a number of great um, tools inside. So it's got these pop-up um, dryer. So this way you can actually like drape your sweater across it. And it lifts it up from the bottom, which is awesome. It's got a super absorbent towel um, for patting your sweaters dry after you're done washing them. Which uh, doesn't shed as well, which is pretty great, I've heard. Yeah. The lack of the shed all over you, so you don't end up with little bits of towel fluff on your sweater. And it also comes with a little bottle of eucalyptus. Which we love. And uh, for those sweaters that you can actually put in the washing machine, Ooh, it comes with two bags. different sides of sweater bags. Um, which helps protect your garment from getting felted in the Thank wash. Goodness. Yeah, and then it also has this grid towel, um, which you can this lay out your great. garment on to make sure that you just flatten it out to the size that it's supposed yeah. to be, and you don't distort um, the shape of your sweater. Which is awesome. In my big little bag here, what we've got hanging out are these awesome blocking mats. And I know you're saying to yourself at home, but I already have blocking mats. <laughs> These are a game changer. They have this textured coating on them that's water resistant and they dry 
faster, I swear. I don't know how it's happening. I don't know what sorcery the people of Coconuts have done to these, <laughs> but they're fantastic. And I find that a little bit of texture helps as well, like the mats. When you're spreading things out, it just got a little bit of tack to it. So when you're putting your pins in, you're not waiting for the garment to shrink back up on itself. Mm -hmm. My least favorite of it. And if you have both kits too, another beauty of this is you can lay um, your mats your down. sweater, your mats down, um, to protect it whatever surface mm -hmm. um, you're drawing your sweater on because of the water resistance. Yeah, for both pieces that are in here as well. So if you're using the grid block to dry or the little pop-up blockers, either way, together, they're even better than they are apart. And this package too um, also comes with a little uh, tin of tea pens. Yep, it does come with a little tin of tea pens, which is always super handy getting you through it. Comes with this great check your gauge cloth, which we love, one inch checks on it so that you can look against your gauge versus this to see to make sure everything's worked out even. And it comes with the Coconuts branded little tea pins here. It's a nice, generous tin. The round tin is really nice because you can dig your fingers right into it. There's no edges for the tea pins to hide in and it or makes you your magneto wing. You don't need to dig your fingers in if you Even have better. the... Oh, you can pick them up with your bracelet. Yeah, just as you're whipping along. Yeah. So you know that we love blocking and we know that sometimes for knitter blocking and like carrying your sweaters feels arduous, but we promise this makes it easier. Let us help you make this more fun. <laughs> it's totally worth it. And both kids come with this little storage bag, um, which is great so and good. environmentally friendly. All the packaging here is craft paper, eco-friendly and recyclable. So cocoa knits with the- um, Hitting it out of the park. Yeah, socially conscious, yeah. Um, environmentally conscious. So last but not least is this leather cord and needle stitch holder kit, which comes this adorable little drawer. Oh, yeah. And it's got um, these little needle tips. Oh, they're awesome. And it's got three little leather cords in different lengths, one for sweater bodies um, and two for sleeves, sleeve lengths. And what you do is you just attach these needle tips um, to the end of the leather cord, and that way you can just slip knit it your on. stitches right off. Yeah, you can knit your stitches um, right off of this when you have them on hold. So you slip them on um, when you put the stitches on hold, and then when you're ready to work them again, you just knit them right off the end so it removes a lot of various I love that. a yeah. lot of various steps yeah exactly and for all of us plowing through sleeve island those will be a blessing very helpful <laughs> the last thing anybody wants to do is get their waist yarn and then their oh darning needle and, and then like, thread it all the way around. i live on sleeve island and like <laughs> anything that makes your residency there better is worth it <laughs> yeah, or shorter oh yeah right yeah <laughs> it's only a wintertime destination so we're super happy to carry coconuts yeah love these products Hope you'll come in and give them a try. Make your knitting life easier um, by having some of the best tools out there. Exactly. As we always say, having the tools and materials for the job makes it a lot better.